Hey everybody, what's going on? Uh, coming at you today with an impromptu retro game hunt video. Um, a co-worker told me about a place about 50 minutes away from work uh, saying that it's somewhat like a second in Charles. So uh, some secondhand stuff, you can take stuff in to get trade money on. Uh, I don't have anything on me right now, but I'm going to go check it out. Uh, he said that he used to trade video games in all the time, and then there was a whole bunch of older stuff, but he hasn't gone in in like a year. So um, yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see what's there. Hopefully there's something. Um, but yeah, we're going to go check out this new this new place. So um, I'm, I'm driving right now, and... I'll see you at home with a haul if I get anything. So, uh, here we go. So I'm back. Um, this store was awesome. It was so great. Um, the videos I took, I know it didn't really show much and I apologize. I just feel really awkward taking videos sometimes in public. So very little there. Again, sorry. Um, but I showed a little bit of what was there. Uh, place was much bigger than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like a GameStop, just kind of a, a small spot. Um, but it was pretty big. It took up like the space of probably like three game spots or GameStops. Sorry. Um, and it was, it was really rad. Um, yeah, it was cool. They had walls and aisles full of everything. And then you saw part of the NES cabinet, um, again feel really awkward being like here look at all this stuff so uh i didn't i just kind of real quick did a little bit um but i did end up getting some stuff uh pretty stoked uh really cheap prices too uh so first up i got uh time lord uh you'll see there it says 399 it was actually 299 and it came with a manual um don't really know much about time lord uh the game but it's about doctor who right yeah awesome uh <laughs> then we got one from way back in my childhood skate or die uh, i never got to play it because my mom always had stuff against dying i don't know but uh i was always a skateboarder and uh i'm i'm pretty stoked to play that then we have uh one that i Remember what it's based off of, but I never knew it was a game. That's uh, MTV's Remote Control. Um, I remember the game show, but I don't. I don't remember there being an NES game. I hardly remember the game show. Um, but I think this one was cheaper than two ninety nine as well. Uh, the guy that I checked out with, uh, he said that the retro games, uh, sometimes when they're priced, uh, the the value will fluctuate so the prices, prices will either go up or down and if the price goes up uh whatever it's tagged at is the price that you buy it at but if the value goes down uh the price that it rings up as is the price that you get so uh the remote control priced at 2.99 i got it for 1.99 uh skater die was actually 2.99 and then Time Lord uh, with the manual, two ninety nine. Um, so and it was priced at three ninety nine. So pretty stoked. Uh, one more thing that I picked up, I didn't even look. I didn't even look. Stupid, stupid rookie mistake. Nuts. 
Um, okay, well, still stoked on it. Um, less stoked than I was, but uh, <laughs> I got a boxed copy of Deja Vu. So um, $12.99 was actually the price I paid for it. I thought it was complete. There's no manual. Um, but still, it's it's my first boxed game. Um, so that's, that's pretty awesome. Um, there we go. Got the game. Pretty cool. Uh, yeah. So I'll have to be on the lookout for the manual for this one. Um, but yeah, this, this place was pretty, pretty awesome. I'll probably end up going back. Um, they have like a reward system that I signed up for. And then actually I think they have a couple more locations. So, uh, if I ever feel like driving further out, uh, I think there's two more locations that I can go to that more than likely have, uh, different inventory. So, um, really happy about that. Really stoked with this shop that my friend told me about. So, um, I'll, I'll end up going back most likely, uh, probably not till after the holidays because I'm getting yelled at for my wife for buying video games because she wants to buy me video games for Christmas. So hopefully there'll be a Christmas haul that you guys will enjoy. Um, and that's, that's it. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you guys have any recommendations for games, let me know. Um, I have a list of ones that I want to pick up, but if there's ones that, you know, that you're really stoked on, let me know. Cause I'm, I just want to start playing some NES games that I never got to play when I was a kid. So for real, I, the collection I have now is more than I had when I was, when it first came out and I was a kid. So, um, really excited to just kind of jump into some retro gaming and, uh, it's been pretty awesome so far and pretty, uh, affordable surprisingly. So, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments if there's any games that you recommend, um, and I'll keep a lookout for them. So. Thanks for watching again, and I'll see you later. Bye.